Welcome to SNBC. Here's your 5 o'clock news. This is your 5 o'clock news, and I am John. I'm Jacob. I'm Jeremy Heimer-Smith. Well, let's turn you to the sports right away with Jeremy Heimer-Smith. This is Jeremy Heimer-Smith with the sports. <clears throat> We've had some recent developments with the egg tossing, egg tossing contest. The chickens have ran rampant and won all their eggs back, but they've all been broken. This will now over to Jaleesa with some more of the sports. This is Jaleesa Stoker. Here we are um, live at the Monopoly tournament in Twin Falls. Um, it's getting pretty intense here. Um, they've been here for quite a while playing Monopoly. Um, we are still waiting the arrival of our reigning champion from last year. Um, and we have some interviews coming up um, later with um, people around Twin Falls um, saying what they think about this Monopoly. Wow, that's awesome. Cool. Amazing. You want to see the interviews? Now let's go to those interviews. Why do you think people play Monopoly, and would you ever play Monopoly competitively yourself? I think that some people like to live on the edge, um, which is fine. You know, uh, if I were 96 and had a heart condition, I probably wouldn't do it. But it gets the uh, blood going, and I think that there's a thrill there that you can't experience any other way. There's probably no way in the world that you could imitate that experience. What do you like most about Monopoly? It makes me feel happy. Um, it gives me energy. Uh, it makes me think of different ways of uh, approaching things. Um, um, it makes me look good. Is it dangerous? It, was, it can be dangerous, yeah. People have gotten hurt. Spectators have gotten hurt, unfortunately, because they stand too close. What is the benefit of winning? The biggest benefit to the students, obviously, is the financial benefit. $350 goes a long way for textbooks and um, for tuition. But I think another thing the student needs to realize is that their hard work pays off. There are people who are recognizing the work that they do and are awarding that, and I think that that alone is a, is a special kudos for the students. Thanks, Jalisa. In other news, aliens have actually landed in Reno. And let's go to Jacob with the weather. Hi, I'm Jacob with the weather. Today we're looking at 39 degrees right now and 79% humidity with six um, south wind. So it might be kind of cold. For our weekly planner, Tuesday, we're looking at 38 degrees and 70% chance of snow. So it's going to be pretty cold outside. Also for Wednesday, we're looking at a 20% chance of rain. Throughout the other part of the week, Thursday through Monday, it's going to be a lot sunnier. There might be a chance of rain, but hopefully not too bad. You never know with the weather, it always changes. As for our national news, we got some lows over here, and some highs, and some highs, and over here, we got some more lows. So, there might be some storms of brewing. As for our world weather, we got some dirt and stuff blowing. Over here in the United States, so everyone just um, stay inside because it's kind of windy. Um, over here, as you can see by the blue, it's colder, and then it gets warmer by the equator like usual. Then it gets um, cold again in the South Pole. So everybody just be careful because it's going to be really As for our weather for the solar system, our planets that are further from the sun are obviously colder. As we get closer to the sun, Earth is livable. It's pretty nice weather, but as you get closer, it's burning hot, and the sun today on the surface is 11,000 degrees. Knock it off. 
Okay, the, the sun is pretty hot, so stay away from there. I just plan on making your vacations centered around the Earth today. Whoa, that's very interesting, Jacob. In other news, there is a point twelve earthquake in... Holy smokes! This just in, it seems that there is huge progression in the Monopoly story. Jaleesa? Here we are with last year's champion, Daniel. Um, so Daniel, do you feel like you have some competition this year? No, none of these guys really scare me. I mean, I got the goods to win and I'm going to prove it again this year. Nice. So last year, your injury, do you think that's going to affect you at all? Well, you know, I spent some time in rehab over the summer and I've been kind of working it out, working the kinks, and I I think I'm feeling pretty confident this year. Good deal. But why wouldn't you, <laughs> really? I don't know. I'm going to win. Anything you want to say to your fans? Woo! You guys make it all possible. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Much love. Thanks, Jaleesa. In other news, President Obama threatened to push his big red button when his health care plan did not pass. Fortunately for us, Michelle Obama kicked him out and let him sleep on the couch all night. So he could not get in his room to press that big red button of his. And here we go to Jaleesa with uh, another news story. Here we are back at the Monopoly in Twin Falls, and our, here, here our reigning champion is still going strong. He's still going. <laughs> Thanks, Jaleesa. In other global news, Teresa Sept has received the nationally renowned Teaching Award for being the best teacher along with being the most likable, garnering more vo votes than last year's American Idol winner, getting all but one vote from students across the globe. But one student holds a grudge because she didn't let him use violence in his film last year. Teresa, sleep with one eye open. And now, on to America's favorite pastime. Here we are back at the Monopoly game in Twin Falls, and we're at the final round, and our um, reigning champion has fallen behind. Oh, it looks like we have a new champion. Good game. Good, good game, guys. Here we are with Oscar, our new Monopoly champion this year. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, it feels great to be a champion. Good deal. Are you going to be back next year? Of course, yeah. I want to try to win it again and be rich. Back to you. And that's your 5 o'clock news, and I'm John. Jacob. Jeremy Heimer-Smith. Goodbye. Bye.